Good. Uh, Build me you? up and uh, yeah, this is all I am. I am what I am. <laughs> I always wonder what he's going to come up with next. It just blows <laughs> me away. I'm leaving. He's <laughs> leaving. Well, maybe, sometimes I wonder what I'm going to come up with next. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I think, can we all agree that we're all just trying to follow the Lord? Amen. We're all just trying to follow the Lord. Right. And we all have obstacles that we face up and on throughout our lives. And you know, the Bible says in a Psalms that says, the Lord is my shepherd, right? Mm -hmm. And in St. John, now I happen to love the, the Apostle John. Yes. He's my favorite. But he, in, in the book of John, the Lord said that he was the good shepherd. And he said that we were the sheep, right? right. Now, has anybody in here ever been a shepherd? Seriously, has anybody in here ever read sheep? No. Okay, well, me neither. And, you know, I'm at the age now where, is anybody in here lost with the new technology? No. Yeah. Yeah. Don't understand. You guys all understand all the new technology that the kids are talking about and stuff? I don't. I'm totally lost. And, you know, I was thinking about how a lot of things that the Bible says we need to relate to, but we really can't because it's changed since then, right? I can't relate to being a shepherd. Now, the Bible says that the Lord directs our footpaths, right? He directs our footsteps. And if you think about it, I always thought that meant that the Lord told me to walk here, and then he told me to walk here, and he told me to walk there, and he told me to walk there, and that's how I look at it. But, you know, it's like we live in a day where if we want to go to Bloomington, everybody get in their car, and we all go down 37. And we just follow one another. But in the days of the Bible, that wasn't the way that was. If they went somewhere, there wasn't no highways, right? They didn't get no cars. They just took out walking. Now, I was thinking about being a shepherd. And I can relate to this in the fact that I got four dogs and several neighborhood house cats outside. <laughs> and so I've never shepherded sheep, but I have shepherded dogs and cats. Okay? Now, if... If I go outside, I have a cat that's hanging around there for several years, and wherever I go outside, if that cat's out there, it'll follow me and it'll walk right around my leg. Have you ever had a cat do that? Oh, yeah. I mean, it is constantly, if I'm going out to feed it or whatever out in the backyard, it'll just be right around my leg. Now, that's kind of the way I looked at us and the Lord, right? We just follow him. Well, if I let my dogs out, now we got a fenced in front yard, and if I let them out to run or whatever, I let them out, and I say, come on guys, and they'll, they'll almost knock me down, getting out the door, and then one will take off this direction, and one will take off that direction, and one will go in the corner, and, and if I'm trying to lead them, they'll scatter, they'll go everywhere. Now I said that to say this, if I go to my mom's house, and I let the dogs out, they know they're at their house and they'll all run out and they'll all go in different directions. If I say, come on guys, let's go get in the car, and invariably, one will run around the front, one will turn off around the back, I'm going, I hold the door open, come on guys, get in the car, and they'll do circles around the flower thing, right? They're not very good sheep. But that got me thinking about how that if I go outside and I'm walking them, I'll, I'll take a perfect path, right? If there's, if there's flowers and weeds and, and my yard trash, you know, kids as toys and stuff. If I'm going out there and I'm, and I'm trying to lead them, right, I will pick the better path. I'll walk around the toys, I'll walk around the flowers, I'll step over the weeds, but my dogs, Invariably, I got long hair, Minnie Dotson. Invariably, he'll go through all the weeds. And so he'll come back out and he's all happy, but he's all covered in birds. <laughs> right? He'll pick birds out of his hair. Because they go the way they want to go. Mm -hmm. so. Now, I said all that to say this the Lord's directing our footpath, He has a place that He wants us to go. Yeah. And as sheep, <laughs> we're not locked step in with the Lord because we have free will. And some of us are just like my dogs. 
my dogs will eventually get where I want them to go, but they got their own ways of getting there. Okay? If I want them to go to the car, I'll go straight to the car. Some of them do three or four loops around the flower bed. We won't talk about that. And they'll run out in the street. Now, as a, as a smart, now I'm shepherding my dog. As a smart shepherd, when I open the door, I look both ways now down the street to make sure there's no cars coming. Because if my dogs would get out in the street, I want to make sure that I got time to corral them. And as a shepherd, my wife just got a, a long haired um, mini chihuahua about, what, a month or two ago? And for a long time, you know, my dogs, when they're out running around, I'll say, come here. I go, baby, because that's one of their names. I go, baby, come here. Or she'll come. I go, Teddy, Teddy. Teddy's the troublemaker. He's a long haired one who gets in the flowers. There's always one. Yeah, I'm always yelling at Teddy. But she got it, and their dog's named Sissy. But she got a dog, and she called him Patches. And for a while, I'm sorry. For a while, it's all right. About a whole day. For a while, Patches didn't know his name. And so when I went to the car, I let baby and Sissy Teddy run, but I carried Patches because I knew that if he got down and I had a holler for him, he didn't recognize who I was hollering for. Right? It's like hollering at Sister June and I'm calling her Ethel. If I go, Ethel, 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 she's never going to answer because it's Sister June. But Patches didn't know he was Patches. So I had to carry him. Because, see, a good shepherd cares for the sheep, right? Yeah. Jesus cares for us, right? right. Yes. Then after I got to, he knew his name, I could let him down. And now if I go, Patches, he'll come. Okay, well, I said all I have to say is this. The Lord is wanting us to get someplace, right? He's wanting every one of us to get to heaven. Mm -hmm. But he's not lockstepping us. Now, the whole point of this is, that we all are trying to follow the Lord, and we all have obstacles. Um, I need a volunteer. Sister Daisy. Ah, <laughs> lucky thing you. Glad you volunteered. <laughs> yeah. I saw some hands. I didn't you brought my wife back. You brought my wife back. I'm still mad at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I asked Sister Daisy not to bring her back, but she brought her back. <laughs> Now, if I ask you to go to the back, to the front door, right? Yeah, how would you go? How would I go? Wait a minute now. Hang on a second. Oh, well, there's, there's more than one way to get there, right? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Seriously. Yeah. Now, the Lord picks the best way, right? Huh? Okay. Now, go? you could go. Let me give you some up. You could go that way. I know. Right? You could go that way. Uh -huh. Would those be the best ways to go? Uh-uh. Fine. Because I have to climb over the pews. <laughs> because, well, yeah, you could go to the wall and follow the... Yeah, you could go over the pews. <laughs> and if you me, you finally go to the pews. But if you go that way, you'll get to the door, right? Right. But it's narrower. I got, and I'm fat. <laughs> so I don't call you fat, I call you not thin. I call you not thin. Okay. But she could go that way. Okay. Now you could go out that door. Yep, come around. And go around. Yep. You could go out that way, and go to the apartment, and go around. Right? But what's the best way? Okay, now. I tell my husband this. From one point to the other, a straight line is the closest. Right. right. That's a common common fact, right? I tell the, closest, that. The, the closest distance between two points is a straight line. Now, the, there's the same obstacles that are down over there are here. But there's more room to maneuver around the obstacles, right? The obstacles are not as much of a problem, right? Same obstacles. So the smartest way to go would be go this way, right? Now, see, when I'm leading my dogs around, I'm going the best way, but my dogs have a free will, so one of my dogs might go that way, one of my dogs might go that way, but now we're supposed to be um, intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want a miracle? That's 
Terry Daisy. I said, when Faust is being, no. Terry is one of my favorite people in the whole world, Terry Daisy. So if you, wanted to, if you wanted to go, the best way to go would be go this way. Yes. Now the Lord's going to go this way, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're going to, and he's our shepherd, so if we're his sheep, how should we follow? We should follow him, right? Now if we don't follow him, now you only got, you got many choices here, but if you don't follow him, then really are you picking the best choice? No, no you're not. All the other choices will work, but are they the best choice? No. If you're not following the Lord, then really you're making not the best choice. You can go back. That's all you got to <laughs> I know you'd eventually get there. Okay, now, I said all I have to say this. If you center your life around the Lord, as I'm saying, then your life will be centered. If you center your life around the Lord, then everything in your life will become centered, will become easy. The children of Israel only had to go possess the promised land, but because they didn't want to, they didn't want to center their life around what God wanted, they had to years. walk in the wilderness 40 years. Now, we all go through things, we're all facing obstacles, and the decisions that we make, whether we truly turn our lives over to Him, truly try to get our mind turned into what, not what we want, not what we want, but what He wants, because He's picking the best way. Now, you can see this in the assembly, we're all going to go through things, but if we can get close to the Lord, and I'm talking close, spiritually, close mentally, close physically, close in everything, if you can really get one in one with Him, he will lead you and guide you Amen. the right way, the easiest way, Absolutely. the way that will be beneficial to you yes. when we go through things. Yes, sir. Now, Sister June That's went through a lot in the last year. Sister June, one of the reasons you're going through so good is because you have really focused, yes. she's, yes. if you think about what she's doing, she's really focused in, tuned in to Him. So she may have to go through those obstacles, but Sister June, I believe you're not going this way. I believe you're, you know, I believe you're going make straight. The Bible says make straight paths for your feet. And anytime you're not doing that, you're making it harder on yourself. So we need to humble ourselves have, and turn our will into His will. Okay. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful.